Val's Denny D'Arcy is saving you money tonight with advice on re-gifting. Well, Dave and Jen, I did a quick survey in the newsroom this afternoon, and 8 out of 10 people I asked have re-gifted. And this might shock you as far as etiquette goes. Writers at the Emily Post Institute say re-gifting is completely fine if you follow a few guidelines. If you are thinking about re-gifting this holiday season, ask yourself this question. Is the gift re-giftable? Never re-gift handmade or one-of-a-kind items. Signed books and monogrammed items also off-limits. Gift cards that are partially used are a no-no, and be sure to check the expiration dates. Gifts that are good candidates for re-gifting include unopened bottles Only of good wine, new household items, and inexpensive jewelry. Also, my favorite, books in extremely good condition. Consider writing a personalized message on the inside. And how was the condition of the gift? Only new, unopened items in good condition should be considered for re-gifting. To be a successful re-gifter, use your wits. Always spring for a new card, of course, and be sure you know who gave you the item so you don't return it to the original giver. Save some money this holiday season and re-gift the right way. I'm Danae Arce, saving you money.